Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Don't get me wrong, I love my shaving brushes. To me, it's part of the zen like experience of shaving. A nice lather, brushed on, little figure eight method like so. It's one of the best parts of shaving. But, say you don't have a brush. You don't own a brush, it's travesty. Maybe you're traveling, you forgot your brush, or for whatever reason, you just don't have one handy. Then I'm going to show you right now how to shave without the brush. I'll be using Suavecito shaving cream. And this is a brushless shaving cream. You don't need to lather up. And just between us, friends, it's not rocket science. But I'm going to describe how to do it so you can get your optimum shave while using this type of a shaving cream. This will also hold true for other types of shaving creams and shaving gels. And as usual, keep in mind, I always try to demonstrate what works the best for me, and then you can improve upon that or fine tune it so that you get the optimum results with your shave. And by the way, you can pick up these items at shavenation.com. Now the key to shaving with a brushless shaving cream is the preparation. You wanna go in the shower, wet your beard, hydrate it, let it run under hot water, and then you can either shave in the shower or hop out and go shave by your vanity at the, at the mirror. I'll show you right now how to use it without taking a shower so that you can get an excellent shave. And before I do that, I want to show you one of the coolest logos in the business. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> it's awesome. All right, you want to wet your face thoroughly with hot water. I like to use the water as hot as I can stand it coming from the tap. You don't want to burn yourself, but you want it nice and hot. So I'll use my Shave Nation face cloth and I'm going to uh, saturate this underwater and then just apply it to my face a couple times, two or three times, and then we'll go on from there. Splash on some hot water right on the beard. Saturate the face cloth under the hot water. These just came in, these black Shave Nation face cloths. They're just the right size for doing this and they're very plush. They hold water quite nicely. So just apply that. You want to hold that up until it starts to cool off and then just place it back under the water and re-soak it and reapply. One more time. Okay, as you can see, my face is a bit more red. That's the, the hot water, the warmth, brings the blood to the surface so your skin turns red. Then I will just apply a little bit more hot water, just splash it on. Make sure the face is thoroughly saturated. And with wet fingers, and wet face, I will take the cap off and just get some of the cream onto my fingers like so. Just start applying it, both sides, and work that in. You can bring your other hand into play as well here. Just massage it in thoroughly like this. Just wanna make sure that your beard is thoroughly saturated, hydrated, and just because you don't see a lot of shaving cream on the face, you still will have a good slick cushion and protection for your blade to glide across it. The razor that I'll be using is the Merker HD 34C. This is made in Germany. And the blade I'll be using is the Gillette Silver Blue. So all you do is unscrew the knob at the bottom pull off the top cap and here's the blade Gillette Silver Blue just place that over the post and the pins like so and insert that post back into the handle and tighten it down there you go now we're ready to rock and roll with our shave I'll start on the left side and I like to temper the blade underwater just put the uh, put the razor under the hot water if you're a hockey fan you've heard of cold steel on ice this is warm steel on face. So I'll start on the left side and just 
What you want to do is start perpendicular like this with a safety razor, then tilt upward slightly, just like that. Start perpendicular, upward slightly. It's about a 30 degree angle. And you'll feel when the, uh, when the beard starts to come off properly. You'll, you'll get the feel for it. I'll start right here and work my way down. Very nice. Again, you may not see a lot of shaving cream on the face, but the cushion and the protection is there for the razor to glide across. I section my face off, start with the left side, now the right side. Just work my way down. When the razor gets filled on one side, I switch to the other. And then rinse off. And the chin area, I just flatten out my, my cleft here, kind of a bullfrog to get inside there. And then work my way down the neckline. And a quick rinse. Now the mustache area. And a clean up around the lips. Just like that. And now I will turn the razor sideways just uh, to get underneath the nose and clean that out. This razor has a nice compact head so you just turn it sideways and go across. And back this way. Very nice. I like to call this razor one of the workhorses of the industry. It's been around for a long time and many of you gents have started with this razor in your rotation and still have it, still use it every day. Now I'll do the final, just a rinse off. And even while I'm rinsing, I can feel the, the slickness from the shaving cream. It's still there. I rinse with hot and then cold water. Very nice and smooth, look at that. Baby smooth, see it? Just one pass, I had a couple days growth and that shaving cream with the razor took it right off. By the way, this Suavecito shaving cream, it's got a fresh, clean, light menthol scent. Goes on very easily and provides a good slick cushion for the razor to glide across. I'll dry off my hands and just pat the face dry. And then just sticking with the Suavecito, I will use this menthol vanishing cream. All you do is open this up and this has a uh, menthol scent to it. It's a little bit of a menthol eucalyptus just a little bit. You don't want to use as much as you did with the shaving cream. Start off with a small amount. You could always add more. You don't want to put too much of this on. You'll have a... Uh, it'll never all completely absorb into your face. So you start with a small amount. When your face is damp, just massage that in thoroughly like so. Excellent. If you're in a hurry and you need to put your dress shirt on and exit the bathroom quickly, uh, you can fold a towel like this and just do the air dry trick like so. Helps it dry quickly. Or you can fire up your blow dryer and do that. Or if you're not in a big hurry, just leave the bathroom and it will air dry on its own. To summarize, this Suavecito shaving cream is an excellent cream. You'll get a fine shave from it uh, as long as you do the proper preparation. Make sure that you hydrate the beard, warm water, uh, let it soak with a towel or a face cloth, and then apply the shaving cream, massage it in a liberal amount, and then after that, get your shave on. Be sure to use a safety razor with only one blade contacting the skin. 
uh, that results in less irritation than two, three, four, six, ten blades. Uh, you get a much better shave from this type of a razor. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my upcoming videos and please watch my previous videos. There's about a hundred of them. Been viewed, I think, at this point in time around nine million times. So I greatly appreciate your support. And again, for anything you see in this video or other shaving equipment, shaving items, please visit shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.